Hey loves, how's it going? Happy Monday to you all. This is a special reading. It's for the new moon and solar eclipse in Scorpio that we have on the 25th of October, depending on where you are. I'm going to look at the energy surrounding that eclipse and the new moon. What do you need to know? Um, perhaps some of you guys are experiencing a lot of changes in your life, especially regarding love. And we're going to see what those changes may be. Okay, so this is a, a collective reading. Of course, if your sign appears, um, I will, you know, call it out. Um, but of course, again, take it out resonates. It's not going to be for everyone out there. Um, if you do like these readings, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you want a personal tarot reading, go to my website, go to my Etsy. You can buy a reading there, video recorded as well as through Etsy message, okay? So again, we have a new moon and a solar eclipse, very, very powerful energy in the sign of Scorpio. Certainly, if you are a Scorpio, this could be hitting hard for you. Um, but let's jump right in. Let's see what we can find out. I have some oracle cards i have some tarot cards and let's jump into the energy okay all right messages for the collective out there what's happening around this new moon and solar eclipse in scorpio 25th of october all right emotionally void and closed off so some of you guys are dealing with someone who was completely shut down detached okay i'm hearing maybe an air sign gemini libra aquarius someone here didn't have the capacity to emotionally open up to you for some of you guys i'm seeing someone may have been emotionally drained okay this is too much this is too heavy it's requiring a lot energetically and emotionally so you may be dealing with someone that has ghosted you that's what this looks like okay I'm even seeing a two swords energy where someone here may have had to make a big difficult decision. Okay. And someone didn't know what to do. Okay. It feels like someone was blindfolded. They may have felt like they didn't have all the facts or they don't really have all the truth here. So I feel like you could be dealing with someone that really, um, again, that didn't have the capacity to open up to you. We have a hardened heart, right? So what that means, someone here had some kind of love blockage they didn't have the ability to open up their heart to you so when i see a hard heart was there some kind of past hurt or trauma that your person was going through i'm even feeling the emotional closed off is coming from something much deeper and it makes me feel like your person wasn't in the place to express it they didn't they wouldn't want to really tell you what they were going through so it could have been really difficult to connect with this person I also have collapse and downfall. So around the eclipse, some of you guys are experiencing some kind of huge collapse, downfall, breakdown of a connection or a relationship. Someone is like, I, I can't keep doing this. This is too much. So there could be a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress right now in this partnership to a point where someone's going to break down. Okay, so if it's not you, it's your person. I'm hearing like an emotional but a mental breakdown. So someone is overthinking, but there's a very strong emotional piece to it now. So someone here could be feeling the deep, deep emotions. I'm getting at an emotional high or you may be experiencing an emotional low. Okay, I'm getting a lot of turbulence in this connection right now. So this collapse and downfall is telling me that something can't keep doing it. Like you, you can't keep going from these highs to lows, right? So something is breaking down because something is not functioning the way that it should. All right. I'm even hearing tower moment, right? Scorpio energy, tower moment, collapse and downfall where something has to break down. In order to have a breakthrough, right? Something has to break down because it wasn't working anymore. It wasn't stable. We also have doubts and hidden desires. So I, I'm seeing an energy of someone hiding. Hiding behind the closed doors because they don't want to show you how they feel. Show you what they want, right? Show you that they're affected. So this person could be in the shadows at night, right? They could be lurking. They could be watching you from a distance, but they're not revealing much of themselves, I even feel like your person's trying to make a decision, but they may have doubts about their ability to do something, their ability to love you, their ability to show up for you. So as a result, they're hiding, but it feels like it's from a place of fear and their own insecurities, right? We have secrets and unsolved mysteries. So that's a Scorpio energy. Look at that. Scorpio is a very secretive energy, not a secretive, I'm not saying a person, but very secretive in nature, very mysterious, right? You may not know everything that's going on with Scorpio. There's something that that's much deeper and it feels like there's something that has been left unsaid, unresolved, right? We have an unsolved mystery. 
um you think of like uh scorpios being like those crime scene those documentaries and stuff like you know you're trying to figure out something's mysterious you could be dealing with that energy you could be dealing with someone who's extremely mysterious there's something obviously going on behind the scenes but they don't want you to know okay so i feel like they like it that way they like it that way they like to just be very um just mysterious not knowing not they don't want you to know their next move right this is someone that likes to you know look at that high priestess they, they like to just like their next moves is one big um secret right so i'm getting the high priestess this could be a pisces of course oh i'm feeling the energy of someone here that has been living a big lie with that secret energy and it feels like something is going to come out perhaps around the solar eclipse okay in scorpio that we're experiencing or it could be coming out shortly after i even feel like with this high priestess that it's telling me that your person really is struggling with something they're keeping to themselves okay because it's telling me this is not this isn't supposed to happen your person isn't supposed to keep things hidden regarding their feelings for you we have the two cups here so obviously this was a really strong connection but it feels like it's eating them up and that's probably why we're having that collapse and downfall it's eating them up to the point where it's gonna break down they're gonna just break apart but it also feels like it's breaking something within the connection okay so let's get into the energy the high priestess came out so that could be the challenge right trying to understand this person trying to find out what has been left unrevealed or what is not being said right now right there could be again secrets coming out the challenge is to find out what the secret is all right, give me the recent past. Again, this is for the collective. This is really tapping into the energy, the new moon, and solar eclipse in Scorpio. It's not my usual type of reading, but I'm just doing things differently, looking into the energy of the solar eclipse, okay? In the recent past, you guys, queen of swords, seven of swords, and a verse, and a two swords. We have a lot of swords, and I talked about the two swords coming out with this card. So definitely was a big decision that someone had to make, and I feel in the past someone put off making this decision. I feel the Queen of Swords, some of you guys, you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And someone had to like, let something be known. Someone had to speak their mind. Someone had to say, you know what, enough of the BS. Let's cut this out. Let's get to the bottom of it. So I feel like there was an important type of communication that came out. And some of you guys, you may have initiated this communication. It also feels like someone got caught in the act of doing something they weren't supposed to do, okay? The Seven of Swords, again, this is that sneaky energy, deceiving, going behind your back, doing something they were not supposed to be doing. Some of you caught your person in the act of this Seven of Swords, okay? You caught them cheating. You, you saw something you weren't supposed to see. And it now has left you guys in a place more recently in the past where you've been stuck, You've been stagnant. You don't know how to move forward, right? Perhaps you're trying to determine whatever happened. First, do I have all the facts? Do I have all the answers? Is this person being honest and truthful? And then what do I need to cut out? So some of you guys are working on cutting something out. But the problem is the high priestess. Someone isn't being honest. Someone isn't telling you everything. And so now you're left with trying to figure out what's the truth. You're investigating, right? So definitely strong air energy here. Give me the current energy here. Seven of Pentacles in a verse, the Wheel of Fortune in a verse, and the Magician. Okay, so now the energy right now is telling me that this Seven of Pentacles, someone is really thinking about their future. Now, again, this could be happening right around the eclipse, shortly after, right? Just really depends on where you guys are and your, your connections. But the Seven of Pentacles, after this situation, whatever comes out, someone's really going to be thinking about their future. They're going to start thinking about what this connection means to them, their investment, what's a value to them, right? The seven of pentacles, what's a value? Do I hold on to this? Is this worth holding on to or not? It feels like someone is really going to start rethinking things because the wheel is in reverse. After that breakdown, after that collapse, things are not going their way, right? We have the wheel in reverse. There's been a change in circumstance. Perhaps nothing is going well in their life, right? relationships are slipping away things are breaking down they're losing their job there's perhaps some kind of financial piece right this could be financial setbacks and insecurities it feels to me like your person's going to want some change 
this isn't the way I want my life to live. Now the magician comes in. So you may be dealing with a Gemini for some of you guys, okay? Someone's going to want to change things. Someone is going to say, you know what? I don't like the way this is going. I want to do things differently. And this energy is really telling me that someone is going to be, I'm getting like that spark. Someone is going to say, okay, I want to now come up with a creative means, a way on how I can create a beautiful life, a loving relationship. So this is like necessary. Whatever is being eclipsed, whatever is coming, breaking down, relationship, a business connection, whatever. It feels like it's supposed to happen this way because that magician is like, okay, it's going to inspire someone to change things in their life, okay? And this could be you. A lot of you guys are going to start using your time, your resources into doing things that are better for you. So what else we need to know, Ace of Swords and Verse? A lot of you know that someone has been dishonest with you. That's what that's telling me. This is your energy. So the Ace of Swords in verse, someone has not been communicating. Someone has been lying. Someone has been deceiving. And a lot of you know that. Six of Wands. And you want to achieve some kind of a level of success, right? If you want, you want something to play out well. But there's something here that you have to find out because the Ace of Swords in the verse is saying, mm -mm, someone is not being honest. Someone is not coming correctly. So there could be energy of six of wands wanting to like go deeper, wanting to have a relationship where there's really good communication, where there's open, there's honesty. Some of you guys are even be willing the six of wands achieve this with this person if they reveal whatever they're hiding. Okay, that's the six of wands and ace of swords. The hangman is in reverse. So some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces. It feels like there's something you're going to have to really think about. Because with the six of wands and a hey man, it makes me feel like some of you may have doubts if you can have the victory with this person. You're going to rethink things a lot. This eclipse is meant for you to stop in your tracks and maybe look at your relationships differently. Looking at how maybe people show up in your life and how maybe perhaps you should be showing up in their life moving forward. So there's a lot to be think, um, a lot to think about here and even feels like, again, if there's no communication, if there's been lies, it's all going to come out, but then you're going to have to think, well, is this something I could hold on to? Six of wands. Can I have a victory? Can I achieve? Can I have this successful loving relationship that I want? The hey man, you're going to have to look at things from different perspectives and it's going to challenge you to do that. So give me the energy of whoever you're thinking and dealing with. Okay, the sun, there's going to be a big breakthrough. So again, after this big collapse and downfall, right, whatever comes out being revealed, we have the sun, which is healing, it's transparency, it's illumination, something is coming out in the open. This is coming clean, right? So if something has been hidden in the darks, uh, in the dark shadows, right? The sun is like, it's coming out, it's coming to light. Someone here may want to be more transparent. They're going to want to be more upfront with you. There's the energy of change, turning a situation around and bringing light to matters, okay? Now, we have the Knight of Pentacles. And what I like about the Knight of Pentacles is about its stability, its security, its investing, right, for the long term. It's slow moving, though. So some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone is going to slowly repair and build back this connection. So if something has broken down and collapsed, it feels like the Nine of Pentacles, your person is strategically working on how I can rebuild this, right? So something is certainly manifesting, right? We have the magician. Someone wants to manifest it, and we do see some kind of change and turnaround toward stability, security. A lot of you guys, you're being seen as the Queen of Cups. So maybe you are the Queen of Cups. Maybe you are the Divine Feminine. Maybe you are the more loving, open, sensitive, aware person here in a relationship. Queen of Cups energy, maybe you're very in tune with your higher self, very soulful. You're very sensitive. Some of you guys, you know, this energy, you could be very psychic. You're very patient, kind, understanding. And now there's the energy of like recognizing that that's something they want. Right, you're coming up in that heart space. So this is someone that is thinking about you and they know that you have a special place in their heart, obviously. And with the Queen of Cups, it makes it feel like your person is being gravitated toward that Queen of Cups energy, wanting to experience real, genuine love. For some of you guys, they may even want your forgiveness. They may even want you to like show empathy or, you know, there's the energy of like, I want to open up to this Queen of Cups because this Queen of Cups has always been real with me, always been supportive of me. And that could be what your energy is toward them. Now, moving forward, it does feel like with these eclipse, um, you know, obviously someone recognizes that I messed up. I missed out on this beautiful opportunity. What I had was very beautiful, stable. I could have had a, um, you know, a long lasting commitment. Ace of Pentacles in verse, it all falls through, right? This could be a business connection, right? This could be a business relationship or coworkers or something here. It could be a family friendship. 
Ace of Pentacles, something has fallen apart. Something that may have at one point been very stable and secure has fallen apart in their life. And now we have the energy of like wanting to do something about it. So with the two Pentacles, your person could be like now in this place of like juggling something. Maybe there's something that has to go. Maybe they've been juggling another person. Maybe they've been making other people in their life, other situations, a priority over you in the relationship. So now the two of Pentacles is like, I'm assessing that. So your person is assessing that to make sure that maybe there's something that they have to get rid of. Maybe there's something they've been holding on to that isn't serving the highest and greatest good and could be getting in the way of what they're creating with you. So the outcome is the four cups. Someone feels like coming into the near future, like they won't be appreciated by you anymore or they won't be seen or, you know, there's energy of being, um, have some, having some kind of realization that yes they missed out on opportunity but how can i get back this opportunity so someone may be feeling rejected by you the only thing i'm seeing honestly the tower so it makes me feel like is this not done is there still work to be done in this relationship right the tower is uncertainty it's unstable okay so it feels to me like if there has been a break if there has been something that may have been cut out oh yeah you guys are gonna have to deal with this and this could be with the whole, the second eclipse that we're having on November 8th. Something could be like, you know, the tower, very uncomfortable having to deal with it, having to come head to head with the situation because it's not going away. But the beautiful thing about it is that the hermit, you're going to get insight, you're going to get clarity, you're going to get truth. There's hidden knowledge, whatever has been not seen again, it's all coming out. So this is all playing out around the eclipse season. So a lot of you guys, yeah, you may feel like you're going through it in your relationships and your connections, your friendships, your business relationships, whatnot partnerships of on of all sorts but this is what's happening and it feels like it's very cleansing as well because a lot of times the tower is like yeah it's destructive but it had to come out whatever was being hidden whatever has been kept uh, on the wraps like it has to come out so let's get some more insight again this is the energy surrounding the new moon and so eclipse and scorpio on the 25th again scorpio is that very transformative energy change right tower is i'm not surprised that the tower came out in the outcome because that's scorpio that's all scorpion energy so yeah this is this is real a lot of you guys are experiencing a lot of breakdowns but these are breakthroughs these are big change transformations and so let, let's jump right in. Let's see the High Priestess. Let's get some clarity for you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. You may be dealing again with a very secretive energy. It could be a Pisces. Crossing that is a Five of Swords. So what's telling me is that someone being secretive, sneaky, right? Not revealing much of themselves. Tight-lipped about something here. It's created a lot of conflict, Five of Swords. So it makes me feel like this is someone that maybe you've been arguing with a lot. Maybe you guys have been um, not communicating, but the reason why you're not communicating is because there's been so much conflict and arguing and drama and tension. And so it makes me feel like it's like, I don't want to communicate with you because you're not even being real. When I finally ask, you know, what's the truth? What's going on? What happened? You give me this high priestess energy. So it makes me feel like that's why maybe there's been a breakdown because someone is avoiding communicating or avoiding being honest. And so it's just no use, right? There's so much bickering going on. Give me the recent past. Again, the Seven of Swords, definitely the energy of someone sneaky. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and a verse and a Five of Cups. You may be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Of course, we have Five of Cups. Someone is really regretful because there's something in the past they could have done a whole lot better, right? I feel like there's the energy of the Seven of Swords. Again, they may have came to you, confessed, got caught, or in the making of doing something that was sneaky, that was, you know, untrustworthy. Seven of Swords, lying, cheating. Now, the energy is like, I shouldn't have done that. So maybe your person, you know, reached out to someone they shouldn't have. Page of Pentacles. Maybe they stopped investing or showing up for you. And now there's the energy of thinking like, wow, what was, what was wrong with me? What was wrong with this connection? Why couldn't I be there for my person when they needed me the most? So now there's, yeah, the Five of Cups. Your person has a lot of guilt, a lot of shame. Okay, there's a lot of regrets about something from the past. It even feels like with the Two of Swords, maybe there was a decision to cut something out completely. Two of Cups, yeah. So there was a separation. And I don't know how this happened, but someone decided, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I can't do it. I don't want to be here. And so there was an ending of a really, really strong soul connection to a Cups. You guys at one point may have been planning your lives together. This is that life partner energy. I see myself being with you, coming into union, staying together. But there was an ending. There was a breakdown of this Two of Cups energy. And again, it could have been finding out the truth or uncovering some kind of truth. Queen of Swords, Page of Cups. 
it even feels like someone here you know again was holding back their love i even feel like the queen of swords the page of cups in a verse there could have been a lot of harsh communication going back and forth but just no but no real like feelings right no i'm there for you i'm supportive of you or i love you or i'm thinking of you I'm, i care for you i also feel with the queen of swords someone may have found out something and it feels to me like someone didn't accept the other person's apology someone felt like i can't forgive you i can't see past this what you did was just un unforgivable so there could have been that energy as well give me the current energy we have and again this is after this event so just take it how it resonates how this is all going to play out could really uh depend on where you are and your connections Give me the wheel in a verse. Something obviously isn't working anymore. There's a lot of breakdowns and I'm getting something is like, there's a downward spiral here, okay? With the hair font, could be a Taurus and we have Leo energy with the strength. So it could be a Taurus or Leo. Maybe you are a Taurus or Leo, sun, moon or rising. With the wheel in a verse, obviously there's been some challenges in commitment. So for some of you, you have experienced a lot of challenges with regard to this person committing. So maybe they, you've been here before. Right? They stepped out of a commitment. They weren't able to commit. It took a lot for you to finally get the commitment. And so now there's the energy of like feeling like I can't keep doing this. The strength card. This is too difficult. It's too challenging. It shouldn't be this difficult. So it feels like the wheel in the verse is kind of like something that may you may have been dealing with for some time in the past. And it just feels like, okay, now we just can't move forward anymore like this. Um, I also see the Six of Cups. So in the current energy, that's what your person's manifesting. They're manifesting an opportunity to come back together. The magician, create a new opportunity where you guys can love, you appreciate each other, you're coming into union. Six of Cups is reminiscing. I'm dreaming of you. I'm thinking of you. You still mean everything to me. You mean the world to me, right? And so there's something your person may be wanting to manifest, change, right? Sun. They may want to be honest and truthful and you know, bring light to a situation so that they can move forward with you. The energy for you guys, Ace of Swords, again, there's some energies of like, you lied to me, you have not been honest. Six of Wands in a verse, and that's probably why something has broken down. But then we have the wheel. So obviously there's change coming in and it, it's going to require you guys, the hangman, it's going to require you guys to maybe see a different side of this person, to see a different side of the situation. Maybe you feel like you had all the answers maybe you felt like you knew what was really going on there could be a misunderstanding with that ace of swords in a verse right so the hangman is allowing you to see things differently see it from a different perspective so you can get insight and maybe even knowledge on something that you didn't know because we do have the hermit coming out in the outcome there's hidden knowledge here let's take a look at your person's energy let's find out what the sun is about they may want to heal be honest or truthful regarding oh the moon that makes sense right so the moon is in reverse, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, right? Leo energy with the sun. Your person's ready to bring light to everything they've been keeping to themselves, everything they've been keeping away from you, thinking that, oh, you know, if they find out this is going to happen, right? There could be a lot of fears and insecurities that your person is having to release with coming clean regarding this situation, okay? So it feels like this is like, I'm ready to let it go, right? New moon, I'm ready to let it go. I'm ready to finally be honest It's coming out. It's going to give you guys a new opportunity, right? Something may feel like it has to go be eclipsed out and it can be very difficult, can be very dark and heavy with that Scorpio energy, right? Solar eclipse in Scorpio, but it's going to bring light to a new opportunity, the sun right it's going to allow you guys to see things differently to heal a connection finally and let's find out what energy they're coming to you with so the knight of pentacles they're coming to you with some kind of offer and it could be a very stable offer may i add right and again to a source eclipsing something out something has got to go for some of you guys is the queen of cups in their life they gotta go for some of you guys, there's, um, again, a big secret. There is an addiction. There is insecurities. There's trauma from their past. It has to go. And by letting that go to a sword, recognizing that it has to go because it's bringing instability. It's bringing a lot of chaos and uncertainty to your life. It feels like now it's making room for what you and this person has. Four wands in the inverse, okay? Two wands in the inverse. So for some of you, the, the four wands is indicating of some kind of disharmony or lack of peace in the home environment. This could be a marriage here that has been on the rocks for some time. Um, the four wands in the inverse is like, this is your person acknowledging that this isn't the life I want, right? There's been a lot of instability. There's been, um, you know, no peace in the home. This isn't what I want. And now again, two wands, two swords, two pentacles. This is like decisions, 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 right? Recognizing that I can't keep doing this. It's like left or right, stay or go. Do I have it now or later? There's some kind of big, big, significant decision here. 
Um, I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, your person, again, is realizing that there's something they missed out on. And now, again, it could be, again, crumbling, coming apart, the tower. Perhaps your person has been avoiding something with you because the tower came out in the reverse. So if your person has been avoiding a commitment, right, there's something here that's like falling apart now. And it feels like if they lost you, their life could be falling apart. So for some of you, the tower is happening in your person's energy. And it's bringing forth some kind of big realization, like tower moment, like big, big, you know, aha, awareness. And it feels like it could result in a lot of, again, change, uncomfortable change and transformation or something falling apart in their life, only for them to now realize this is what I want. So that four cups energy is your person maybe even feeling rejected by you. Feeling rejected. Yeah, nine of wands in a verse. Because some of you guys, you've given up. Leo, Sag, Aries. Some of you guys are a fire sign perhaps as well. But there's also energy if I'm tired, I'm frustrated, I can't keep doing this. And that's why we have the tower. When someone gets to that energy of the collapse and downfall, that's pretty much a tower moment. Right? And that's Scorpio energy. So a lot of you guys are experiencing tower moments in your relationships, but look what comes in after, right? It feels like it's bringing truth. It's bringing clarity. It's bringing new opportunities. It's allowing something to like literally fall apart. This way you can start over and build it brand new, right? And that Knight of Pentacles is like taking steps to rebuild something, cutting things out. So a lot of you, you know, you're experiencing a lot of changes, but it does feel like it's necessary. And the hangman comes out again. So not only the hermit, you're right, you're getting hidden insight, hidden knowledge. Things are coming out and being revealed. The hangman is like, now what do I do with it? Now that I know the truth, what do I do with it? Right? Looking at this person differently, seeing a situation differently, different perspectives. So you guys are going to get a lot of different perspectives on your love life. And the magician. Okay, what do you want to create now in this relationship? Some of you guys are now turning around a situation that may have been done and over and you're manifesting what you want. You're manifesting the love that you always wanted, being intentional, setting clear intentions. And so there could be a magician energy manifesting a relationship, turning it around after some kind of tower moment, okay? And that's with the solar eclipse again in Scorpio on the 25th. Let's finish off with the divine love messages. If you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, comment, subscribe. We have reconstruction. So yeah, there is a breaking down, reorganizing, and mending required to rebuild this foundation. So something comes to an end, right? That Scorpio energy, that tower moment, it breaks things down. And now you're being required to build it back up, to mend things, to be honest, to be truthful, to come clean, to heal. And that's going to allow you to rebuild a foundation here introspection someone needs to look at self and do inner reflection so this is also giving an opportunity for you both to really do some deep thinking about what you want what's important to you this relationship okay and that's really necessary it feels like honestly this is giving you both a not only opportunity to rebuild something but really come to terms with what you really want introspection that hermit right leap of faith a risky, bold move may be required to move this connection forward. For some of you guys, the leap of faith is like literally your person saying, okay, ready to cut this out, ready to do this. Maybe I've been avoiding it for a really long time, but now I know that this is necessary, right? Isolation is here. A withdrawal is necessary for peace of mind and emotional recovery. We talked about emotions, right? In the beginning, there's a lot of emotions here. And maybe someone hasn't been revealing their emotions with that heart and heart and the emotional void and closed off energy. But someone has emotions um, that is really taking a toll on them. And it feels like now I need peace of mind. Now I need to recover. I need to regain myself. So a lot of you guys, you may be going through some kind of isolation ghosting with your person you're not communicating but this is part of the journey this is necessary okay all part of the plan right so a lot of you guys again if you enjoy these readings like your comment subscribe um happy new moon and solar eclipse and scorpio try to spend time with yourself try not to do too much try not to put too much on your schedule if you could take a day off from work mental health day go ahead and do it all right, be easy, okay? Take it easy. And um, you guys, again, like, share, comment, subscribe. Send you my love, my blessings, and you all take care. All right.